we got like Mr. Prophet side, the truth to the lost sheep, you know, the so-called black Hispanic, Native American, Haitian, Jamaican, you know, whoever comes across, man, that's scattered throughout, that's part of the 12 tribes of Israel. You know, we bring in the gospel to and let them know that salvation, you know, is only for our people and, and no other people in this earth. With that being said, uh, somebody give me um, Amos 3 and 1 and uh, Acts 5 and 3 and 9. So we can get into understanding is uh, who exactly salvation for. Right? And that's why we out here, we ain't in the churches no more. We out on the streets, the prophesying, bringing out the truth. Uh, or, or what salvation is, or who it pertains to. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. In the book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. Read out. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So the Most High God will punish his children, his people, for all of their iniquity because uh, we're the only ones that's dealing with the Most High. The Most High, is, he, he's dealing with us, his family, his nation. If he only, and he's only known us out of all the families of the earth. So that's why we are here today to let our people know, you so-called black Hispanics, you know, that, that we are the children of Israel, the real Jews according to the scriptures. Uh, uh, give, me, give me that. Uh, uh, Acts. Right. Acts chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hanged on a tree. So, so, like, so, so he says, The God of our fathers, right? right? So, the God of our fathers, so that lets you know again that that's dealing with, with, with Israel, man. Yeah. Yeah. Salvation and that Christ is pertaining to us, man, and no other people. That's who salvation for, the Israelites. Yeah. Hey, y'all know y'all nationality, according to the Bible? That's not, man. Jake don't want to hear it sometimes, man. He, he, is straight, he is straight ignoring you, man. Don't no, no stop man. What's up, man? You know your nationality? You got time to dialogue, man? Alright, alright, alright. No problem, no problem. Uh, 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 give me, um, give me, uh, Romans, uh, 9 and 3. Give me, uh, Romans 11. Romans 11, uh, 9 and 3. Salvation, again, man, is for our people. And, and again, that's why we are here. Our people gotta wake the hell up, man. Give me, a, give me that one. This is the book of Romans, chapter 9 and verse 3. Bring it up! For I wish... For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. According to the flesh. And, and, and Paul is an Israelite himself, and he's talking about his brother and his kinsmen, right? Go ahead. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites, man? Go ahead. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenant. The glory and the covenants, man. That's all pertaining to the children of Israel, man. That's what, what, what salvation is for. That's what Paul is expounding on. Go ahead. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law, man. Uh, uh, you know, the, the, the knowledge of how to, even, uh, how to uh, deal with the Most High. Go ahead. And the service of God and the promises. And the service of God and the promises being in salvation, man. Go ahead. Whose are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came. And concerning the what? Concerning the flesh, Christ came. Concerning the flesh, Christ came. So Christ literally only came for the children of Israel. That's you right. Go Go nowhere on. in the scriptures and find uh, where it was prophesied that Christ would come for any other nation but the children of Israel. And Paul was a learned man and he knew that. That's why he was expounding on it. Romans chapter 11, verse 1. I say this. Have God cast away his people? So the most high God has not cast have God cast away his people? This is a question. Go ahead. Yahweh forbid. So the most high forbid, man. Yahweh forbid. Of course the most high haven't cast his people, cast away his people, because the most high God isn't a liar, man. He's not a liar. We got uh matter of fact, give me uh uh yo, you give me uh Isaiah 45 and 17. Just just 
You know what I'm saying? So just to substantiate, the most High hasn't cast away his people. What's up, man? You know your nationality, brother? Huh? You know your nationality? Yeah, I'm Hebrew black. Do you believe in the Bible? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll pray. Hebrew black. Okay, go ahead. Give me that. Here's the book of Isaiah. DNA. Huh? We got the oldest DNA. Oldest DNA. <laughs> you got time to deal? D dialogue? Go ahead. The book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Who's going to be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation? Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an ever everlasting salvation. Oh, hold that. Give me what you got again. Have God passed away his people? The hour forbid. So we know for sure that the Most High isn't passing away his people. In, 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 in no sense, man, at all, man. You can finish that up. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. You will not be ashamed. You will not be ashamed uh, nor confounded world without end, man. Come. Because that world is dealing with the world of Israel. Give me John, give me John uh, uh, 3 to 14. Let's get John 3 and 14. <laughs> this is the book of John, chapter 3, verse 14. And as Moses lifted up, like it. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. So Moses lifted up a serpent in the wilderness, man. And it says, just like that serpent in the wilderness was lifted up, so will Christ be lifted up. Yeah. So let's see who Christ will be lifted up to. I mean, as a matter of fact, let's get that history in, a, uh, in the wilderness, man. The book of Numbers, chapter 21, and verse 6. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people. Right. And much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the people said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. And this ain't just, uh, go back real quick, real quick. And this ain't just uh, all people or any people. You know what I'm saying? This is a specific group of people. Keep reading real quick. Uh, verse 10, and the children of Israel. And the children of who? The children of Israel sat forward and pitched in Obak. So this is how we know who is dealing with according to context, man. It was the ch children of Israel. And this is the same context and, uh, that's being utilized in John 3.16. And we just read the history. Go to John 3.16. John chapter 3, verse 16. Yeah. Where God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. But not perish and have everlasting life, man. That's dealing with the children of Israel. We already went to Isaiah 45 and 17, that the everlasting uh, life is pertaining to the children of Israel, man. We already substantiated that there. We use multiple witnesses to substantiate this, man. It ain't no spiritual Israel. Israel's not done away with. It's not an all-inclusive thing. How y'all doing today? Y'all know y'all nationalities according to the Bible? Y'all know we the real Jews, right? We the children of Israel. That's right. You gotta repent and come back and keep the commandments, man. Step out from Christian churches. This is this where the truth is, man. That's right. Uh, give me, um, uh, 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 Luke, Luke, uh, what is this? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, right, 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 right. How you doing? You know your nationality? Puerto Rican. Puerto, you Puerto Rican? You come from the tribe of Ephraim. You want to learn about it? All right, we're giving you historical Give references and history. There you go. All right, cool, cool. This is the book of Luke, chapter 1, and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Sorry, read that over one more time. Uh, uh, Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. So the, 
Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. He has visited and redeemed his people. Again, it's not an all-inclusive uh, statement. Go ahead. And, and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Has raised up a horn of salvation, man. Go ahead. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets. He spoke by his holy prophets. And you can't go nowhere in the Tanakh and, 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 and find the prophets prophesying that all nations will get salvation or be saved, man. Right. right. That's, right. That, that, that's impossible. Why would, how can a white man be saved from the so-called white man? You know what I'm saying? That's a, when they, when they, when they generate uh, the, the same nature. After it's been, you know, we, we got here uh, 400 years ago, and every generation of so-called white man has perpetuated the same crime because these are the same people, uh, and that's just facts. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies. The children of Israel, the real Jews, the Bible speaks of be saved from our enemies. How you sisters doing? Y'all know your nationality? Y'all wanna learn about who y'all are? No, y'all come on, fuck. We the real Jews according to the Bible, man. We gotta repent and keep the commandments of the Most High God, man. We the, we the Israelites according to the Bible. Y'all know your nationality? What's your nationality, sis? What is it? What's your nationality? I know my nationality. I'm an Israelite. I'm one of God's chosen people. And you probably, That's right. You probably is too. You can come learn something. We ain't talking about religious background. We're talking about the identity. Right. Yeah, national identity. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> show, show me Christian. Don't always don't know what we're talking about. Go down here. Why y'all going? Why y'all going that way? We, we, we right. showing you love. You showing us hate, man. I thought you was a Christian. I thought you cared about God. We thought you was a Christian. That's right. Get out of here, man. And that's just proof, man. Christians don't know what the hell they're talking about. This is why we got to come out of the churches, man, and recognize who we are as a nation of people.